Youth Arise and its members are greatly honored to finally bring to the light our board of directors, a group of strong, fierce individuals who will lead the organization from where it is to where it ought to be. Our impeccable team of these hardworking individuals from all spheres of life will be coming together as a force to work together for the good of all young people and for the good of the organization. So congratulations to all of you and thank you for allowing yourself to be used for this good cause. God bless you all. I now invite the board chairman to give his remarks. Your Honor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my Lord Spiritual YAO members, I think it's appropriate at this time to shout, New Tarai! New Tarai! I heard only the men. I think only the women. <laughs> Youth are right. Raise the young brother. Look like the women have a larger voice than the men. <laughs> Youth are right. Raise the young brother. This afternoon, I stand here and I speak for myself and for my generation. Uh, we're doing something which my generation should have done. We're doing something which my generation is grateful for. You're doing something which my generation relish with all honesty and with all sincerity. And my generation remains grateful to your generation for this initiative and for what you're doing. But more specifically, I'd like to speak this afternoon to the board members who have just been inducted. And I'd like to say congratulations to each and every one of us without exception. Uh, Now, in our part of the world, subjecting your work to corporate governance is not very popular. In our part of the world, subjecting your work to peer review is not very popular. Uh, no wonder you hear in recent times of coup and counter coups in certain African countries. And when you take a closer look, uh, you find something peculiar. Uh, where you find that somebody is elected into office through a democratic process, but because of the point I'm making, the refusal to adhere to corporate governance with the rules, the refusal to adhere to peer review rules, the person wants to entrench himself. He wants to remain there and push everybody else away. So it's a great thing that you have done this afternoon to call into your meet distinguished ladies, distinguished gentlemen with varied uh, backgrounds to form a board, a, the first board for a youth arise organization. And what a marvelous thing that you have done. What a bold move. And it is a step in the right direction. Uh, I cannot express myself sufficiently to tell you the significance of what you're doing. You know, in our local parlance, we say that when the man is cutting a path in the bush, uh, it is the bystander, it is the onlooker who can tell whether the path is crooked or whether the path is right. I, I hope this is correct. So here we are, you have a board, and whatever it is you're doing, it is the board that will show, that will tell, that will guide, that will decide whether you are on the right path or you are not on the right path. So I commend you, I congratulate you, I congratulate the board members 
I'd like to assure you of my support. And I believe I speak on behalf of the board. And I'd like to assure you of the support of the board, which has been inducted here this afternoon. Be rest assured that you can call on any one of us 24 seven. Collectively as a group, you can call on us 24 seven individually. And I take the uh, liberty to say this, believing that I speak the mind of the board members here this afternoon, that individually you can call on us 24 seven. And based on the simple understanding that for my generation, the urge and the objective remains uh, unchanged. What we could not do, we are interested in young men and young women who can do and make society a better place. Uh, and this afternoon, you set up a board and you are saying to this board to be guided by, and I want us to take a look at it. If you have this, please come back to this document. We have this document with you. So we are saying to this board this afternoon, be guided by integrity, because this is what we stand for. We are saying this afternoon to the board to be guided by service, because this is what we stand for. We are saying to this board this afternoon, have character and be guided by character, because this is what youth arise represent. And for me, when you say to the board, be guided by integrity, be guided by leadership, be guided by service, be guided by character, this is what you shall get. And I speak on behalf of the board. So long as I remain chair of the board, this is what you shall get. Service, integrity, leadership, character. This is what your board will put at your disposal. Please be rest assured of this. Our underlying understanding is very simple. That what we could not do when we were your age, when we were in your, in your group, and you are sacrificing, you are all fully engaged in one area or the other. In addition to your full engagement, you add this to what you are doing. You should give yourselves a round of applause. So how can we then as board members not give you what it is that will change the dynamics of what you are doing, what will improve on what you are already doing? I purposely didn't draw up a speech uh, coming here this afternoon uh, because it's not to make a long interesting speech this is not uh, exactly what we require this afternoon and i just said i'll come here pay attention to what is being done and say it as it is and that's so we would call our global ceo mr mosin dafurua affectionately known as chief to give us our closing remarks Thank you very much, the board chair, members of the board, national executive of Youth Arise Organization, national coordinators of Youth Arise Organization watching us from Morocco and the US, and our regional leaders across the country. I'm excited to be here, and I'm actually here to further thank everyone for taking time off their work to be a part of what we do. And for us, today's event is a major milestone in the life of the Arise organization. In light, in light of this, I'm, such ex I'm so much excited to welcome you all to the induction ceremony of Wild's first board of directors. It is truly the best of times to make such a great leap as an organization. Youth Arise has been active for almost a decade, and as we continue to grow exponentially, it is imperative and apt for the organization to have an independent body who is concerned about the strategic direction and activities of the organization in order to reach its utmost aspiration, aspiration of being a global organization of every race, color, tribe, and culture that empowers young people, women, and communities to significantly increase their performance in all spheres of life and, achieve, and to achieve worthwhile purposes. It arises believes in service and the core of our work is to raise young people to become leaders who will change, who will be change agents in their communities. From all our department projects to our flagship programs, the value of youth arise, integrity, respect, humility, faithfulness, forgiveness, and desire to improve keeps us working and striving to ensure that youth work does not become a derelict activity. The journey of youth arise is far from over. And, our board, and as our board of directors, I'm excited about the key role you have 
to play in this journey. We understand that we understand that you are exactly what Wairu needs to achieve in the short and long term aspirations. Since my name is Sakama Jasna Imamore. As a 26 year old PhD, a sociologist, an MBA holder in petroleum economics and finance from Coventry University. I joined Youth Arise in 2013, where I was waiting to enter into the university. I was very shy. I was the indoors person. I was the, I was not outspoken. Public speaking was very difficult, but chief would always call you and then go like, Sabama, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm in my hostel. Okay, kindly go to Unique FM. Oh my God, what am I going to say? But I still need to go. Chief, thank you so much for everything. I am here and I'm the never giving up person because of your grooming, because of your health, because of your um, capacity building programs and all. I'm able to stand and speak. I've been, I completed my MBA at the age of 25, 24, 25, because he gave me that spirit of never giving up up going for what you want and i'm very grateful and i believe the switch from sociologists i just want to um talk about that one a little before i hand over the switch was because she gave me the eye to see further because he always told me that never give up because i, was, I never even dreamt of even getting to where i am i'm, I'm not where I, I want to be but i believe there has been a lot of progress Thanks to Chief Youth Arise Organization, and I am so, so grateful. Thank you very much. From organization impact lives, build capacities and advocate for young people across the globe. We believe the involvement of our board would play a critical role in ensuring sustainability in our work. Hearty congratulations to our newly inducted board. Welcome to the Orange Family. <laughs>